this particular segment is going to swap the items between two adjacent item location. The least value which is there in the position must be brought to the next location. The element which is largest in the array has bubbled to the last position. When the value of i is equal to 1, what has to be the value of j? j is equal to 0. Hello everyone, it is Dr. Ravi Kumar YB. In today's session of system software and operating systems, you are going to learn one more important type of sorting technique that is bubble sort. The name bubble indicates that the bubble which may arise from bottom to top under the water. In the same manner, when there is a need to sort the elements either in the increasing order or in the decreasing order, we have to arrange the elements which is not already in an unorganized manner. That means we have to organize the elements in an ascending order or in a descending order from an unorganized list of elements in an array. If that is the case, we have a method or a technique, basic technique which helps us to sort the elements in an increasing order or in a decreasing order. So if that is the case, let me explain about the bubble sort in detail about it. Bubble sort is also referred to as comparison sort. This is also called as a comparison sort. Why the name comparison sort is an another name of bubble sort means if you want to sort any of the elements in an array, you will do that sorting by comparing the elements which are there in the next location. That is, in the next and subsequent locations, we are going to compare and swap the elements if they are in interchanged order or in the unorganized manner. So that is the reason we are going to have that. It is also called as a comparison sort. This sorting algorithm repeatedly goes through the list and compares the adjacent elements and swap them if they are in the wrong order or in the unorganized order. This is the most simplest algorithm and inefficient at the same time. It is very much necessary to learn about it as it represents the basic foundations of sorting. The explanations of this bubble sort goes on now. Let me have an array of elements. In this case, we have a list of items or elements in an array, which is not in an organized manner. So I want to make them in an organized manner, that is in increasing order or in decreasing order. Let me consider the items of this. Let me consider the same example, 14, 33, 27. 14, 33, 27, 35, 10, 10. I have these elements in this unorganized manner. Now I want to arrange, rearrange these elements in an organized manner, either in increasing order or in decreasing order. If I in sort them or arrange them in an increasing order, element 10 comes here, then 14, then 27, then 33, then finally 35. This is called as an increasing order of sorting. Similarly, if I rearrange them in a decreasing order, the elements would be like this 35, 33, 27, 14, 10. So this is called as a decreasing order of sorting. Order of sorting.
Now, if I consider this example as a reference, now, first I will compare the item, first item, which is there in 0th location, first location, second location, third location, fourth location. I will compare the elements located at this location with this location, then this with this location, then this with this location, then this element is compared with this location. So we have the items arranged and comparison goes on between the subsequent or adjacent locations of an array. If that is the case, how can I do the comparison? By just simply incorporating the if statement, I can do the comparison. If that is the case, if a of j, let me call the value of j, is greater than a of j plus 1. Let me call this as a of j. If a of j is 0, what would be j plus 1? It is 0 plus 1 that is equal to 1. We are comparing the item present in this 0th location with first location. Then again, first location with second location. When this is equal to 1, this becomes 2. When this becomes 2, this becomes 3. When this becomes 3, this becomes 4. So totally we have 4 items here. So when they are in the order, that is when this becomes 4, this becomes 5. So 0 to 5, this becomes 6. How many items are there in this list? I have only 5 items. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When j is equal to this, j plus 1 would be this. So if that is the case, I am doing the comparison with adjacent items. If that is the case, let me do the comparison of this item. A of, let me call this as an array name A. A of 0 corresponds to 14. A of 1 corresponds to 33. If A of 14 is greater than A of 33, no, not at all. If that is the case, this condition fails. No need to swap the items now. This condition is to be carried out, that is the statement is to be executed only when this condition is satisfied, that is swapping is necessary. Else, what has to be done? Else, the index value is to be incremented. If it is, if the condition is satisfied, we, we, we perform this operation, else we increment this operator. That is, the token j is incremented by 1, so that when the condition is not satisfied, it goes to the incrementation operator. If that is the case, let me write down one for loop here. For, I have a j here, so j is equal to 0, j less than or equal to n minus 1 j plus plus. Let me call this as the condition. Please note that this is going to be changed later. Why? When the value of n is equal to 5, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that is n is equal to 5, we have the items varying from 0 to 4, that is 5. What is the value of n then? 5 minus 1, that is equal to 4 j is equal to 0, j plus 1 means what? a of 0 is compared with a of 1. Then, similarly, a of 0 is compared with a of 1. Then, a of 1 is compared with a of 2. Then, a of 2 is compared with a of 3. Similarly, a of 3 is compared with a of 4. So totally we have the items arranged in this manner. So 0 to 3 corresponds to 4 items. I have one more item which needs to be compared but that bubbles up at every iteration. Please keep this in your mind. I am not stating that that is also going to be iterated because if I do that a of 4, this becomes 5. But I do I have any item numbered at the location 5? No, I do not have that 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I do not have fifth element. 
that is n is equal to that is in this location i do not have any value that is in the fifth location i do not have anything so i have to stop j here and j plus 1 must be stopped at this location if that is the case what is that i am going to do now since i have the first item which is less than that that is already sorted no need to perform this swapping operation that is no need to perform this swapping operation then in which case i am supposed to do that i am supposed to do that in this case when 33 is greater than 22 that is when j is equal to 1 and j plus 1 is equal to 2 i have this that is when j is equal to 1 j plus 1 is equal to 2 that is i have the item that is 33 is compared with 27 since 20 33 is greater than 27 i have to swap these items how can i swap those items adjacent items must be swapped that is the swapping involves like this that is 33 is greater than 27 so we have the item 33 is greater than 27 how i am going to swap that let me push these items or any one of these items into a temporary variable like this let me write down the swapping operations here at this side a of j must be assigned to temp then a of j plus 1 must be assigned to a of j so there is no loss of data now a of temp then temp must be assigned to it is not an a of temp just temp temp must be assigned to a of j so this is this particular segment is going to swap the items between two adjacent item location that is between this and this location we have the items then obviously this comes to this location this goes to this location so obviously after the first iteration the values which are stored in this will be like this that is 14 27 33 then we have the items which is next 35 and 10 35 and 10 now what is happening here it is going to bubble the item which was here earlier is bubbled to the next location the item which is here going to bubble to the next location the item which is here going to bubble to the next location so by doing this the most least item in the array is going to be placed in the first location so that the items are arranged or organized in an increasing order so if that is the case let me do the operations here j is equal to 0 initially j is equal to 0 what is the value of j that is 14 14 is greater than 20 uh, 33 what is that see to it please see to it 14 is greater than 33 no no need of swapping then j is incremented by 1 what is the value of j then j term comes to this position j is equal to 1 then what is j plus 1 33 is compared with 27 since 33 is greater than 27 swapping is to be done once it is swapped the resultant array would be like this 14 27 33 35 10 then again j is incremented by 1 next time j is equal to 2 what is the value of j this is my j j plus 1 is 35 that is 0 1 2 3 this is my 3 j is equal to 2 now this is compared again a of j what is the value of a of j 33 33 is greater than 35 no not at all no need of swapping again it is incremented by 1 what is the value of j j comes to this location j is equal to 3 j plus 1 is equal to 4 that is j plus 1 is equal to 4 we have the items since 35 is greater than 10 it is it has to be swapped how it is going to be swapped using this swap operation if that is the case what happens 14 27 33 10 35 so the highest element is bubbled to the last position in the first pass in the first iteration in the next iteration the same operation is going to be done between the adjacent operation which is that item then in the second iteration let me have the items which are there in the second position now in this case this is the first pass 
Let me tell you that. 142733, 142733, 1035. This is the item. Now, in the second pass, I am going to have this operation. That is, 14 is compared with 27. Since it is already swapped, already in an order, no need to change that. Then 27 with 33, no need to change. Then 33 with 10, it has to be changed. So this has to be brought to this position and this must be taken to this position. If that is the case, 33 comes here, 35. 27, 14. So this is the result of second pass. In the third pass, what happens? Now, 14 is compared with 27 already sorted then 27 is compared with 10 since 27 is greater than 10 we have to swap that if that is the case 10 comes to this location 27 goes to this location then 33 35 already sorted this is the result of third pass so 14 remains here now in the fourth pass i have the item 14 which has to be compared with this it has to be swapped then obviously 10 14 27 33 35 this is after fourth pass so at the end of the fourth pass i am getting the values in a sorted manner so if that is the case what is to be done now in case of this i have a logic for this for for j j for tracking the item in the first pass in the first pass how many comparisons are to be done that is in the first pass how many comparisons are to be done one two three four four comparisons are going to be done now again the comparison is over. Once when the comparison is over, it has to be swapped or the least value which is there in the position must be brought to the next location. That is during the first pass. If that is the case, I am stating that n minus i plus 1 element. n minus i, what is the value of i here? What is the value of n here? n is equal to 5. What is the value of i? i is equal to 0 initially. 5 minus 0 is 5 plus 1. What is the meaning of this? Let me explain you the condition which I am stating here. If that is the case, what is the value of j? j is equal greater than or equal to 1, less than or equal to n minus i. That is, j is equal to 1 greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to n minus i. What is the value of n? It is 5. What is the value of i then? That has to be in another loop. If that is the case, let me show you the algorithm and the principle of this bubble sort. If that is the case, I have the items like this first initially. If a of j is greater than a of j plus 1 swap else it has to be incremented how i am going to increment j is incremented j plus plus on which condition it has to be incremented it has to be incremented on some condition here right on and which is the initialized value it has to be 0 and it has to be 0 plus 1 1 so initially it begins from 0. So let me initialize j is equal to 0. And what has to be the condition? j must pass from here to here. That is from 0, 1, 2, 3. Then what is j plus 1? Must be in fourth position. So if that is the case, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, totally n is equal to 5. What is the j value of j? n minus 5. N, n is equal to 5, so n minus 1. What is the value of n minus 1 here? n minus 1 is equal to 5 
minus 1 is equal to 4. Obviously, that turns out to be the value which is equal to this. That is still the fourth position. If that is the case, I have j is equal to 3 here and j plus 1 is equal to 4 here. If that is the case, n minus 1 is assigned to j plus 1. What has to be the value of j? n minus 1 minus 1. Let me write it in this order. That is j is equal to n minus minus 1. In the earlier slides, you, you have seen that the element which is largest in the array has bubbled to the last position. That is 35. The value 35 bubbles to the last position. Once it bubbles to the last position, I do not want to compare anymore with this element. Because in the first pass, it has moved to this final location. So let me not touch anything of this. Now, n minus, what is the value of this? i is equal to 0. Initially, when the value of i is equal to 0, we have, what is the value of i? n is equal to 5. 5 minus 0 minus 1 is what? That is 4. j is equal to 4. Is it possible to have that? Not at all. If I have i is equal to 1, 5 minus 1 minus 1 that is equal to 5 minus 2 that is equal to 3. That is possible. j is equal to 3. If that is the case, what is the value of i then? i must begin from 1. If that is the case, what is the value of i then? i is equal to 1. i is equal to 1. Please note that it is i is equal to 1. j is equal to n. j is equal to n minus i minus 1. What is the meaning of that? n minus i minus 1. i is equal to 1. So, n is equal to 5. 5 minus 1 minus 1 is 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. So, I am getting the value j is equal to 3 here. Next time when it is iterated over this, that is with reference to this, 14 is the value, first value, a of 0, a of 0, 14 is compared with this item 33. Then there is no need to swap, j is incremented by 1. What is the value of j next time? j is equal to 1, that is j is equal to 1. Again this condition is satisfied, that is j is equal to 1, 1 is equal to this 5 minus 1 minus 1. That is, what is the value of this? 1 is greater than or equal to 5 minus 2. That is 3. 1 is greater than or equal to 3? No. If that is the case, what has to be the condition? This has to be less than. 1 less than or equal to 3? Yes. If that is the case, let me put it j less than or equal to n minus i minus 1. If that is the case, j, what is j next time? j is equal to this, j plus 1 is this. 33 is compared with 27, then swapped, then initially again it is incremented by 1. What is the value of j next time? j is equal to 2 next time. What is j plus 1? j plus 1 is, this becomes j next time, this becomes j plus 1. If that is the case, what is the value of n? n remains the same, 5. What is the value of i? 1 minus 1. What is the value of that? That has to be incremented here. What is the value of i next time? It has to be incremented. It has to, how it is going to be incremented? By 1. If that is the case, what is the value of i then? If this condition is satisfied, this is j is incremented by 2, by 1. So it is 2 now. 2 less than or equal to 3? Yes, it is equal to 3. N less than or equal to 3. Then it 2 is compared with this. 27 is less than 35. In this case, it is greater than 35. Yes, it is. No, it is not greater than 25. That is 27 is not greater than 35. This is false. If that is the case, no swapping is done, j is incremented by 1. What is the value of j next time? It is 3. What is j plus 1 next time? This is my j plus 1. What is the value of j plus 1? 
then this is my value that is 35 is compared with 10. It is true in this case 35 is greater than 10 so it has to be swapped. Once it is swapped the value comes to this location and this value goes to this location that is after the first pass. After the first pass what is the result of that 14 33 is compared and it is swapped 27 33 10, 35. So if you look at this, you will see that 14 is less than for 33. 33 is greater than 27, so it has to be swapped. So this is going to be swapped and this is brought to this location. If that is the case, 27, 33, 10, 35. This is after the first pass. Then it has to be incremented. What is the value of j next time? j, 3 is equal to 3. 3 is equal to 3. Again, it is, it has to be compared. So, A of G, what is the value of J? J is equal to 3. A of J is 35. 35 is greater than 10. Yes, it has to be swapped. Once it is swapped, it is, J is incremented by 1. What is the value of J next time? It is 4. What is J plus 1? It is out of bound. Do we have any value at the fifth location? No. Then the condition fails here. The, when the condition fails, it comes out of the jth loop and again i is incremented by 1. What is the value of i next time? i is incremented by 1, that is i plus plus here. If that is the case, what is the value of i next time? i is equal to 2 then. Next time, i is equal to 2. What is the result of this operation? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? Now. If I say that i is equal to 2, what is the value of n? n is equal to 5. 5 minus 2 minus 1 is what? 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3 means what? 2. That is j is equal to 2. j is equal to 2. That is from here to here. What is j plus 1 from here to here? If this is j, this becomes j plus 1. So if that is the case, what is the value of j now? Again, j is, in, j is initialized to 0. Once it enters inside this, j becomes 0. That is, now j is equal to this. What is j plus 1? j plus 1 is this. Now, the element has to be, no need to swap the items from here to here because already it is organized in increasing order. Then this becomes j next time. This becomes j plus 1, then 27 and 23 is already organized, then this becomes j next time, this becomes j plus 1 next time. If that is the case, this has to be swapped, then what has to be done now? 10, 33, this becomes 35. This becomes 27, 14. Now, what is the value of this? Then i has to be incremented by 1. j fails here. What is the value of i next time? i is equal to 3. If that is the case, n minus i minus 1. What is the value of this? n is equal to 5. 5 minus 3 minus 1 is what? 5 minus 4. That is equal to 1. That is j less than or equal to 1. What is the value of j? This becomes j between these two items. So this is how the comparison of item goes on. If that is the case, let me take you into this. 14 is compared with 23 initially. So since it is greater, for 33 is greater and 14 is lesser, no need to swap. See here, second item is compared with this. That is J is compared with J plus 1. So 33 is greater than 27. So it has to be moved to this location and this must be moved to this location. Swapping is to be done. As a result of that 14, 27, 33, 35, 10. Now, we proceed to the next location. What is A of 2 then? 0, 1, 2. A of 3. 33 is compared with 35. That is, this is J and this is J plus 1. 
So if that is the case, 33 is compared with 35. Now the value of 35 is already greater than 33. No need to swap. Right. In the next time, 35 is compared with 10. In the next slide, you will going to you, you are going to see that is 35 is greater than 10, so it has to be swapped. So as a result of that, 10 becomes the to the position of 3, that is 14, 27, 33, 10, 35. So this is bubbled to the last position, that is after the first pass. In the second pass, what happens? I'll take the same thing here, this into this second pass, 14, 27, 33, 10, 35. Here, I will not touch this location because it has already bubbled up to the last position. So 14 is compared with 27, it is already sorted. 27 with 33, already sorted. 33 with 10, it has to be sorted, that means swapped. So if that is the case after second pass, what would be the value of that? 14, 27, 33, 10, 35. This is, the this is the value we get after the, so this becomes 14, 27, 10, 33, 35. So this becomes the new item bubbled to the last but one position in the second pass, after the second pass. If you look at this, 10 is less than 35. It is not possible to swap. Then now the array is this. After the second pass, we have the items 14, 27, 10, that is 14, 27, 10, 33, 35. The items are in this order. After the third pass, what happens? This moves to this location and this comes to this location. If that is the case, 14, 10, 27, 33, 35. So this is the value we get after the third pass. 14, 10, 27, 14, 10, 27, 33, 35, after the third pass. Similarly, in the fourth pass, what happens? This bubbles up. This bubbles up to this position. If that is the case, 14 moves to the second position, 10 moves to the first position, then 27, 33, 35. After the fourth pass, we will get a value. Again, if we check the values, it is in the sorted list, sorted array. If that is the case, after the fourth pass, the element should be sorted like this, 10, 14, 27, 33, 35. So if that is the case, what is the bubble sort algorithm? See here, array of j is compared with j plus 1. j is equal to 0, total number of elements is n, n minus i minus 2 is considered here. What is the value of i, I then? i is equal to 0 to n minus 1. Earlier, what was the value I considered? 1. If that is the case, what happens? According to this, i is equal to 0, j is equal to 0 initially, that is the value of this. Let me consider the same example. 14, 27, 33, 35, 10. This is the input value given to the system. Right? Let me consider one more item that is this list of items that is 5, 15, 6, 9, 4. Let me consider these items. Since 5 is greater than, 15 is greater than 5, there needs to be a swapping. But in this case, 5 is already in the 0th position, no need to swap that with the next position. So 15 is compared with this, this has to be swapped. So 6 comes to this location, 15 goes to this location, then 9, 4, 5. Then 15 is to be compared with 9 and it has to be swapped. So if that is the case, 9, 15, 4. 6, 5. Again, 15 is to be compared with 4. Since it is greater than 4, so it has to be swapped. So 4, 15, 9, 6, 5. So after the first pass, what is the value we have? 
This is the item we have after the first pass, the result of the first pass. If that is the case, let me write the code for this. The code for this looks like this. So initially we are going to compare. What is that we are going to compare? If a of j is greater than a of j plus 1, we have to swap. If what is the value of j initially is 0, what is j plus 1? This becomes your j, this becomes your j and this is you. what is the value of this? It has to be compared with adjacent item. So this is j plus 1. So j plus 1 is beginning from the next to the value of jth location. So if that is the case, I should have one for loop for j is equal to 0 initially, j is equal to 0, then j plus 1 till where it has to be swapped, it, where it, the comparison operation is to be performed when the value of j is equal to this, j plus 1 is equal to this. If that is the case, j less than or equal to how many items are there in this list? n is equal to 5 total elements, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but the index begins from 0. So let me consider this as n is equal to n minus 5, n minus, n is equal to 5 means 5 minus 1, that is, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, n minus 1 is what, 5 minus 1 is equal to, equal to 4, but what is the value I need to get for j, one more value is to be subtracted, if that is the case, n minus 1 minus 1, if that is the case, n minus 2, that is the value of this. If that is the case, you are going to see the value of that here, n minus i minus 2 initially. What is the value of i initially? i is equal to 0, 0 minus 2, it has to be 5, 5 minus 2, 5 minus 0 is 5, 5 minus 2 is 3. So j is equal to 3. So j varies from 0 to 3 initially, it varies from 0 to 3. What is j plus 1? j plus 1 goes to here, pointer stands here. So if that is the case, j less than or equal to n minus i minus 2, j plus plus. If that is the case, what is the value of i here? i is equal to 0 initially. So I have to write down the value of i, i is equal to 0, i less than or equal to, I have to mention one more condition here, which is that condition i plus plus, i plus plus. So initially i is equal to 0, when the i reaches the value of this position, uh, the pointer i moves from here to here, but in this case it is 0 initially, i is equal to 0, i is equal to 1 i is equal to 2, i is equal to 3, what is the value of i? When the value of i is equal to 0, j is equal to 0, when the value of i is equal to 0, j is incremented by 1, what is the value of j next time? j is equal to 1, that is in the first pass, we will be having the values varying from i is equal to 0, j is equal to, j is equal to 0, j is equal to 1, j is equal to 2, j is equal to 3. Similarly, when the value of i is equal to 1, what has to be the value of j? j is equal to 0, j is equal to 1, j is equal to 2. Please see to it here, observe that carefully, j is equal to 3. Then value of i is equal to 2, j is equal to 0, j is equal to 1, j is equal to 2, j is equal to 3. When the value of i is equal to 3, j is equal to 0, i is equal to, i is equal to 3, j is equal to 1, j is equal to 2, j is equal to 3. Whether this works, whether this works, not at all, because please observe that carefully in this condition. What is the value of j? This is wrong. If that is the case, what modification has to be incorporated here? 
see here j is equal to 0 n is equal to 5 phi minus 0 minus 1 next time when the value of i is incremented this becomes 1 phi minus 1 that is 4 4 minus 2 minus 2 is 2 that is it becomes 2 that is j is equal to 2 what is the value of j then it slides to this position when the value of i is incremented by 1 once again what is the value of i then it is 2 2 minus 2 is what 4 that is but 5 minus 2 minus 4 minus 2 is 5 minus 4 which is equal to 1 if that is the case what happens it slides down to this position in the next pass what happens what is the value of i i is equal to 3 3 minus 2 is what 5 minus 5 it becomes 0 so it slides down to this position so this is how the bubble sort works not this way so when the value of this this is in the first pass in the first pass what happens that is in pass 1 only the value of j is incremented i remains the same in the second pass both in the second pass i is incremented as well as j is incremented from 0 once again that is when the value of i is equal to 1 j is equal to 0 1 2 that is this becomes this 2 then because already it has bubbled to the last position highest value has moved to the last position so if that is the case then what is the value of i in the third third pass that is i is equal to 2 j is equal to 0 1 in the fourth pass what happens i is equal to 3 j is equal to 0 this is the fourth pass last pass so by doing this operation all all of the elements will be sorted in an ascending order i will do one small change in this what is that small change see here i have greater than symbol here if i have less than symbol that is enough to sort them in decreasing order that's all see here this is a python implementation that describes as to how the for loop varies and the jth loop varies here this is the code or a conditional statement that does the task of swapping then bubble sort is called here and the sorted list is printed in this location this is how the bubble sort works then what is the time complexity of this what is the best case of this scenario if every element stored in an array is already sorted then it has to be passed through at least one pass if that is the case how many elements are there n elements are there so the best case time efficiency is big o of n I can also represent it as omega of n. What is the average case complexity? That is theta. What is the average case complexity and what is the worst case time complexity? The worst case time complexity is when the value of i is equal, j is equal to n, j plus 1 is to be incremented. But what is the total number of elements present in it? n is equal to 5. How many items are compared with j? j and i. So, n minus 1. So, when the value of i is equal to 0, j has to go from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It has to go from 0 to 3. When the value of j is equal to 1, i is equal to 1, j has to move from 0, 1, 2. So, what is that happening here? See to it here. When the value of i is 0, it is moving from 0 to 3. 0 to 3 is what? When the value of i is equal to 0, j is equal to 0 to 3. When the value of i is equal to 1, j is equal to 0 to 2. When the value of i is equal to 2, j is equal to 0 to 1. When the value of i is equal to 3, the value of j equal to 0. So it is increasing, it is decreasing. So if that is the case, n into n minus 1 by 2, I can write down. What is the value of n? 5. 5 minus 1 is what? 4. 4 by 2. The whole thing. What is that? It becomes 10. Next time, when the value of i is equal to 5, fi n is equal to 5, what is the value? How many comparisons I am going to do now? 
5 5 minus 1 by 2 the same thing that turns out to be n into n minus 1 by 2 can be further simplified as n square minus n by 2 which is further simplified as n square by 2 minus n by 2. If that is the case, if I further simplify that, that becomes the value of highest order n square. If that is the case, I can write down the worst case time complexity of this is n square. What is the average case time complexity? When the items are already in the unorganized order, it has to be sorted. But what is the average case time complexity? Again, it requires n square. When the items are already in the descending order, I want to sort it in the increasing order. How many times it uh, takes? Again, the same operation goes on. So that is why again it requires n square type of operation. So it is called as big O of n square. What is the best case? Big O of n or like this. You can use either this notation or this notation to represent the best case time complexity. What is the average case time complexity? Theta of n square. What is the worst case time complexity? Big O of n square. If that is the case, let me simplify it further. Yeah, the same thing is explained here. n minus 1 plus n minus 2, n minus 3, when the value of this n into n minus 1 by 2, it can be simplified as this. When the value of n is equal to 5, 5 minus 1 is 4, n is equal to 5, 5 minus 2 is 3, 2, 1, so on like this, still 1. If that is the case, n into n minus 1 by 2 is the generalized formula which turns out to be the value of this. So by doing this operation, big O of n square, that is big O of n square is the time complexity of average time complexity and the worst case time complexity of the bubble sort. What is the space complexity? Each item requires one position. The space complexity is obviously it is one. So that is how the bubble sort works. So if you come across any questions or any doubts with respect to the explanations of bubble sort, kindly come back to me during the live sessions so that I can clear all of your doubts. Thank you very much. Thank you one and all.